Hello fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius today. We've got the justice here and reverse at the bottom of the deck. Um, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. And when I say someone, that means it could either be you or your person, okay? For those of you who are single, the fool here indicates a new beginning, a new journey that you could be embarking on. If some of you, it's you, you know, hey, maybe I'm ready to take risks or... I'm ready to put my guards down with the four pentacles and love verse, ready to open my heart for, you know, uh, a new relationship or a new journey. For some of you newly single, I definitely sense you traveling as well with the fool here. That's just for some of you. But for the rest of you, I feel like if you are currently connected with someone right now and you could be going through some issues with this person or not speaking or not communicating with this person right now, we've got the King of Swords here in reverse. Maybe the Seven of Wands here, someone here is, you know, being really stubborn or standing their ground and, you know, trying not to budge, you know, not trying not to be the first one to initiate this conversation because Five of Cups is here still mulling over whatever that may have happened between the two of you and we've got the three of wands here in row first someone may have turned their back on somebody here and feeling like maybe with a fool here i need some time to i just need to liberate myself from this connection from this person because i need some time to either explore uh, or go on a new journey mm, but the fool here indicates somebody also wanting to take a new leap of faith with you or you with that person and possibly thinking about opening up their heart to this person. That's just for some of you, I feel. And this is your energy, right? King of uh, wants you in love first. For some of you, you could be in a, in a same gender relationship. Some of you, not all of you. I'm only saying that because I'm seeing all of the masculine energy here. Doesn't matter, masculine, feminine, we all have both okay but what i'm seeing here is some of you just maybe if you're single um you're uninterested in love right now as well i see two different groups of you one group ready to take chances ready to take risks ready to open your heart to somebody or somebody may be ready to open your heart to you and express to you after not speaking with you for a while but then also there's this energy of another group of you where just you just don't you just you're just not interested with the knight of cups here in reverse not interested in love not passionate about you know wanting to be in a relationship that's for some of you making a choice you know just to be single for a while with the fool here um just wanting to be free for a while that's some of you again i see two different groups of you but there's definitely this energy of somebody still holding on to the past right and unwilling to budge um prefer to turn their back on this person and then liberate themselves from this connection four pentacles and one first also can indicate somebody could be sad because they may have made a wrong decision and may have dropped the ball because for some reason, there's this also this energy of someone feeling that, feeling sad that the other person is happy, right? Feeling sad that the other person is not paying them any attention, not showing them any love or care. But let's see more Leo Aries Sag. So there are a lot of details. Take what resonates with you depending where you're at right now, uh, your situation. Not everyone is single not everyone is in a relationship or going through issues in their relationship but I definitely sense as this energy of anger as well with the knight of swords someone here is angry because they feel like they they weren't being treated fairly right hence going into this hangman mode not wanting to do anything about it or just you know needing time to be alone i definitely sense this energy of somebody feeling like 
I need time to be alone. I need to escape somewhere else. It could be literal physical escape or it could be mental, emotional escape. <laughs> so we've got the star here in my verse and also we've got the temperance in my verse and the four wands. This is energy of someone feeling um, angry and feeling emotionally unstable right now. And instead of speaking, instead of arguing, someone here may be feeling that they, again, need to take a break from this person or from this connection. We've got the star here in my first. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I'm seeing Sagittarius, Aries. A lot of your fire is here, fire signs. Some of you could be dealing also with a fire sign like you are. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But four wands is here. Somebody is pondering with that idea of you know what can this connection be healed can i ever heal from this can we actually get back together can we reconcile uh, somebody is definitely pondering with that idea right can we actually start over with the fool here um after everything that has happened between the two of us but let's see more leo aries Sag. Yep, someone with a page of swords here could be stalking you, spying on you. Sometimes stalking and spying is not like literal, creepy kind of a spying or stalking. It could just be reading old texts, looking at pictures, you know. Um, it could also just be thinking a lot about somebody. Because swords always indicates thoughts as well. So somebody could be thinking about you a lot, hence they could be keeping tabs on you. Uh, for some of you, maybe it is like looking at your social media, if you have social media. And we've got the Ten of Wands here in my verse, and we've got the Two of Swords in my verse. There's this per energy of somebody getting ready as well to speak up, Two of Swords. If there hasn't been a communication lately, I feel that someone is getting ready to want to communicate, right? Six of Wands wanting to move forward or win your heart or win this connection or um, wanting attention from somebody but it feels like somebody needs to somebody needs time and has to feel completely ready before they move forward with you or you with them or to communicate here we've got the seven of cups in my verse and the five of swords in my verse i'm also sensing someone could be dating a lot or seeing other people but none of it is just good i feel and foul swords and love first some of you could be thinking you know what i just maybe should give up on dating at all i should give up on dating apps so many options but none of these options are good so we got the king of pentacles here for a lot of you maybe focusing on your business or on your work on your career um trying to gain uh, financial stability or just making more money yeah but also this may be someone you could be dealing with right now if you are virgo capricorn taurus it feels like there's this energy of somebody also not wanting anybody else but you or perhaps you could be thinking at the back of your mind like this is the person you would like a victory with right but currently there could be some issues here perhaps it could be communication issues or non-communication i feel like there needs to be a lot of healing to do between you and this person before both of you can come together with the four ones here get back together or you know reconcile but in the meantime, somebody just need to escape. I hope that makes sense to you. Need to escape and need some time and need needing a break. Again, it could be you or your person who may be thinking about dealing with currently. All right, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I will leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video um, is from my second channel. For those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. If not, it's fine too. And also, I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs. And uh, they're still new, so don't let it go to waste. As you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. So go ahead and click on that playlist. Scroll all the way down. Look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. And also, uh, I'm open for personal readings. If you would like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Alright, take care. Bye.